did my makeup so y'all don't have to sit with me through the makeup thing and it is nice and sunny outside oh my goodness this is gonna be a great day I already made my cup of coffee cup of coffee even though it's one o'clock the first cup of coffee oh i hope i ain't talking too much y'all <laughs> the first cup of coffee i use i always drink black and then about three o'clock i'll add cream and all that good stuff to it i am betty j gathers daughter jean gray if it's your first time thank you so much for coming and please come back, hit that button, hit that bell, and subscribe, and come on and join the BJ fam. This is Friday, the 2nd of August. This has been a long day already. It's just 1 o'clock. Last night, I was up Thursday night after midnight, which would have been Friday morning. I was looking at Tuba Chat. That's just where a lot of YouTube creators go to, big or small. And I had a really good time. But I'm like, you know what? I'm going to have to get up in the morning and I got to go exercise. But that's okay. what I've been doing, y'all. It's going on. It'll be going on four weeks hey, starting now. Sunday. I have I been doing it boo. daily for six days a week. And I'm up to four plus miles the majority of the day. Sometimes I'll do 3.2. It has really been really good for me. Um, I was suffering with a little depression. Then I lost my dog. So now, about a week ago. And now I'm just kind of coming out of the depression. And let me tell you too. If you are a caregiver, even of an animal, you the rest of the way that really gets you tired out. And you don't even, I didn't even know that there was even anything about dog caregiver fatigue. Who would have known? I couldn't, I didn't know why I was crying. I didn't know why I was in deep depression. Because my dog had had dementia for over a, a year and also just so much other stuff going on so we did put him down last thursday so that was a really hard day and still hard but if this is your first time coming this is gonna be a great day to start okay i'm i do a vlog every saturday 5 30 p.m eastern standard time i do daily shorts <laughs> every day and i also have a lot wednesday morning 9 30 a.m eastern standard time on youtube but the reason i'm saying it's a great time for you to start today is because and i still need to fix my hair up is because i have been on youtube going on three years and i have talked about weight losing weight and the only thing is i got bigger and bigger and bigger and even you know i'm not going to blame it all on the depression or pandemic or anything but i used to be really consistent with intermittent fasting and i still do open my window at i'll say three the majority of times sometimes two but I don't close my window like I'm supposed to. I've been talking about that forever. 
But I know now that I'm really ready and I know with y'all help, I'll be able to get all this weight off of me because I am tired of being overweight and I don't feel good. So let, tell me what do you do to help you lose weight and also tell me what kind of movement that you do, okay? And I'm gonna take y'all over to my desk because I need to finish up my hair and then we can chatter and we can chatter a little bit over here and it's not gonna even be that long, really. Let me sit you up right here. Mm. Just trying to show y'all all my little goodies, aren't I? Ah. There we go. Okay. Put that light on. <laughs> oh, and I'll be back. <sighs> Make sure I get my little flowers my sister gave me and sit on my feet. Do anybody else? When I sit down, I like to sit on my feet. I don't know why I'm like comfortable like that. But yeah, we're going to get back to talking about intermittent fasting and using my hours for intermittent fasting. And if you don't know anything about intermittent fasting, please, you know, look it up on Google because there's so many different ways. And I usually do five hours from 3 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. When I was consistent, I was really small. My sister said I was so small, she called me the bobblehead, is what she called me. But I really do want to get started back and really be consistent. I've been saying it for three years and I have not been doing it consistently. Also, too, another thing is I now put my water in a pretty wine glass. It makes me drink more and like I said before the whole three years I talked about losing weight on YouTube I just gained weight so now I'm really working on the movement is first because I really haven't gotten the eating down yet and also the window so I want to consistently start closing that window at 8 p.m. I'm not gonna worry about the food too much at this time but I want to do it step by step I've got the movement in so y'all gonna move with me and we really I need to make a goal Monday I'm really gonna come back with this next Saturday and say that I really close that window at 8 o'clock and if I decide to change that five hour window, I'll let you know next Saturday. But I want to consistently close that window at eight o'clock because I don't know what's happening with me. Even now, I'm starting to get hungry about 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning. And I don't know where this is coming from, but like it's one o'clock now. And I really want to just eat. And I don't know why. Uh oh. I'm not gonna y'all this de but the desk is cleaner. I can say that. And as I was talking, I was supposed to be taking my hair down. You know what? One good thing about getting older, y'all. Your hair under your arms don't grow. <laughs> and on your legs, I don't have to shave my I don't know the last time I shaved my legs. Anybody else as you this get older? I thought it would just be your oh, hair. I know it would be under your arms. Seven days. Everywhere. Every day. Y'all know where everywhere I'm not talking easy. about. I'm and not one not good here. thing about being on YouTube, <laughs> even though I've gained weight, I can't hide. Okay. Anybody else do that when I you gain weight? Here. Like I don't like looking in a mirror. I'm telling the truth now. I'm telling it all. This is just going to be. But you know what? Let me just say this. If this is your first time. My vlog is not going to be all about weight. But we're going to talk about it a little bit more. My vlog is about beauty, makeup, hair. We'll be going to the stores. We'll be shopping. 
everything girly girls are. If you are a girly girl, come on here with me. You know, I've been a girly girl ever since I was like in fourth grade, I think. I was a tomboy up until that time. I enjoy makeup. I enjoy hair. I enjoy, you know, movement. So, always, and just remember, I've been doing it going on four weeks. So, if you have not started, this is a good time to start. If you're uh, thinking about intermittent fasting, Monday is going to be a great day to start. If you're doing keto, if you whatever you want to do, come on. You come on with us. We're going to do this. But like I say, the majority of my blogging is not going to be about weight loss, but some of it is. I guess that's the best way to say some of it is. But my hair is nice and clean. Ah, and somebody was telling me that I should uh, show how I, you know, put on my unit, my hair. And I don't know, you know, I could do it for myself. And, but I don't know if, you know, I want to really, you know, get into the hair thing. Because then that pulls me off. Of, I just like to show you, you know, once it's on. You know, me fluffing it out when it's nice and clean. And I like to show, you know, when I'm putting on makeup. But today, right now, it is sunny. It's bright. But I really wish that I could take y'all on a walk. I'm going to put some clips in here, too, as I'm talking. Okay. Showing you me walking and moving show you. and showing you all the uh, animals that <laughs> I see. Here, on my walk here it is so and relaxing it's this such, is a hill too, so much beauty in the, you know the route so, that i take walking I but it's i tell you that first down, day uh, that i tell you okay. but i made that hill i just want to say and i want to end this because i didn't want to make this too long take care of you take care of yourself and if you're a caretaker, it is so hard. You know, I think of all my friends now, they're taking care of their parents. And it is not easy. And it's so easy for me to say, take care of yourself. You know, and again, what I'm going to say, if you're an animal caretaker, animal parent, know too that you can get caretaker fatigue. When we come back on next Saturday, we're going to talk a little bit about movement again, what I did this week. We're going to talk about intermittent fasting, if I close my window every day. And then you're going to share what you did because we could do this together, okay? Because I haven't lost a pound, but I've definitely gained some poundage. And again, I'm so happy all of you stopped by. And I want you to come on back and join me on this adventure because I'm going to take you on a rocky ride. And again, hit that subscribe button to help a sister out. And I'm going to go ahead and pop out of here and I will chit chat with y'all later. Yeah, I'm coming out. Yeah, I'm coming out. I'm going to come.